Congratulations, gentlemen, on your graduation. Uh, this is a special class for me, uh, in part because my son is a member of the class. Uh, so I offer you some parting advice um, as a father would offer a son. God has a plan for you. Uh, you may not recognize that plan as it unfolds, but it's important to trust that the plan that he has for you is a unique one created by him specifically for you. That plan will undoubtedly come with challenges and obstacles. Uh, and in those moments, it's important to surround yourself with people who care about you, with people who love you, with people who are gonna help you overcome those obstacles and those challenges. Uh, so as you uh, go on about in the world, uh, remember to um, always surround yourself with people who are gonna make you a better person and who are gonna help you fulfill the plan that God has in store for you. I'm very proud of you, and I wish you the best of luck in your future. Uh, I'm definitely gonna miss the Wildlife Club because Mr. McConnell, he's one of my favorite teachers. And we do a lot of fun stuff in that uh, club. We did, and we get snacks after, so it's just like a lot of fun. And flag football, I got to meet like a lot of people. So we won the flag football championship for like two years in a row. One of my favorite memories that I will be remembering for the rest of my life and telling my grandkids about, we went one back-to-back -back years in Gatlinburg to tackle football. I'm gonna miss Christian Brothers when I'm gone because it's a very unique school and fun and I know high school is gonna be a lot different and more serious. Probably gonna miss the teachers because they helped us understand the subjects really well. They understood us. I just wanted to let you know that it has been such a pleasure being with you here on this campus for three years, but um, I can't name individuals because that wouldn't be fair and it would take too much time. But a lot of you guys I've been knowing for a long, long time. So my connection with you, my relationship with you um, spans, you know, almost 10 years. So that's a wonderful thing. And as I think about you and uh, as you move on to the next stage of your academic career, um, just know that I'm privileged uh, to have been part of it. Uh, know that you are a big, huge reason um, why I do what I do. And I really wanna sincerely thank you for inspiring me to make this year, it's your last year and it's my last year here too, I stayed for you. I really did. And uh, to be able to work with you in the classroom, on the field, and especially you musicians and actors. Um, best of luck to you in the future. You're not going to need it, um, but as they say, best of luck to you. And uh, I'm excited for you. You guys are going to go out and do great things. Band, swimming, 
and fishing club, but I'm really gonna miss wildlife the most because Mr. McConnell was really fun and we went to Sky Zone. So I remember in um, fifth grade, we were with Mr. Goodwin on the waterfall and then he just turned it on and then um, it killed all the fish. And it was horrible because there was birds flying everywhere and stuff and they would come pick up all the fish and it just smelled horrible. I Deacon Lynn is just funny and it just like gives us everyone like a boost in energy and stuff like that. Probably fishing club because we have a pond here and it's like really easy to go to and we could go to Big Lake. We're here, the school's here, and there are people who come back 40 years later to visit. And it won't be the same teachers, but it still has the same traditions. And that's an important thing about our school. Having uh, the brothers that are still here, we're grateful for that. You need to be grateful for the fact that they are still here for you, and they've passed on their traditions to us. So take good care of yourself, make good decisions, enjoy life. The thing I'm gonna miss the most about Christian Brothers is the community and the brotherhood and the way that they let boys be boys and you could just really be yourself. I'm gonna miss uh, the seventh grade Washington DC trip because um, it just really helped all of our classmates get closer together and the things that we saw and the way we all got to react to it, I think that brought us all closer together. I think I'm gonna miss Miss Susan the most because she really helped me with volleyball when I first started in fifth grade, and I wouldn't be as good as I am today without her. Thank, thank you, mother and father, for sending me to Christian Brothers, and this has been one of the best experiences of my entire life. message to the class of 2024 is that you guys go out into the world and make a difference. Do something great. Don't forget to brush your teeth. Floss. Flossing is good. Deodorant. Definitely got to wear deodorant. Um, bathe every once in a while. That's good. And yeah, stay out of trouble.
miss the sports because they're a lot of fun. The coaches were funny, and I enjoyed it a lot. One of my favorite memories of Christian Brothers was when we were playing battle ball. I was one of the last people left, and I made the shot into the goal, which got everyone in my team back in. Probably gonna miss the teachers and students, and all like doing activities together, like with everybody in your class and grade. One time in fifth grade, my friend, like he was, he jumped in the pond trying to save a ball, I think, when he was playing soccer. That was probably the funniest thing. Coach Marks and Coach Kaminsky and Mr. Pratt, because they, Coach Marks and Coach Kaminsky, they both helped me get like to a better runner. Uh, coach Marks told me to start running and Coach Kaminsky was my coach. And Mr. Pratt improved me to be a better man. The fact that I'm just sitting here right now talking to you guys is extremely special. Uh, I know how much Max missed being here with you guys, so coming back and experiencing this last year has been unbelievable. Um, this is a very special class for me uh, for many reasons. Um, I love this group of boys. I could not be any more proud of this group. Uh, I can't wait to see the young men y'all become, and I missed you so much. You have a big, big part in why we came back. So uh, I will always be here for you. Um, Max, if you could have seen him last year without you guys, you would see how important you guys all really are. So much love to all of you. I'm always here. First, I'd like to say congratulations to all of the graduates of the class of 2024. You have made us proud as students here at Christian Brothers. I challenge you to continue to do the same for yourself, your family, and us as you go on to high school and beyond. I hope that you remember uh, many of the lessons that we taught you, but among them to uh, Keep those who are closest to you um, as a priority. Uh, know that your parents are going to be there for you. Whether you disagree with them or not, they will always have your best interest in mind. Choose your friends wisely. They are very important and will continue to be throughout the rest of your life. And know that your teachers will continue to be trusted individuals on whom you can depend throughout your high school years. Do not just go and become a student at the high school that has accepted you. Instead, seek to be a leader among your friends. Maybe it will be as the valedictorian. Maybe it will be as captain of a team, president of a club, or maybe it will be just setting a good example among your friends. Know that what's important is that you make the world a better place. And we've done everything we can to help prepare you for that. It's now your turn. Congratulations, class of 2024. Wait, what am I doing? Biggest thing for you that I can give to you. Stay out of jail. <laughs> I can't look at him, bro. I don't know what else to say. I didn't really like them. Um, 
I mean, there might have been a couple, you know, but uh, there's quite a few kids there that, uh, you know, made a mark on this place. I don't know if that's a good mark or a bad mark, but um, they certainly made their mark, and it'll be sad to see them go. Some of them. I would say one of my favorite memories was um, in sixth grade of me and a couple of classmates. Um, we, we got a suspension. I'm probably gonna miss the... What am I gonna miss? It's hard. <laughs> uh, first of all, I want to apologize to this class because at some point in this video, you're gonna see Mr. Pratt. And uh, he was wearing a suit jacket but he's probably wearing a 42 regular. He really needs a 40 short. But uh, he'll figure that out as time goes on. <laughs>